who's the face of lawsuit abuse? It's your next door neighbor, small business people in towns around the country. It's citizens of every race, creed, and age. 83% of Americans say frivolous lawsuits are a serious problem. Battling a tough economy is hard enough. Abusive lawsuits make the job even tougher for all of us. Visit facesoflawsuitabuse.org to find out more. Find the power. Stop the abuse. In the spring of 2003, we here at Watercrafters were visited by two Canada geese. They became protected by the Migratory Species Bird Act, and we tried to follow the law. We let them do what they were supposed to do, which is sit here, hatch their eggs, and move on. A reporter from a local newspaper did an article on the geese. I called to thank him, and that's when he told me that he had gotten a phone call from somebody who said she had been injured by the geese. Apparently, she had gotten out of her car and came across the male goose who flapped his wings and snapped at her. The uh, woman had apparently fallen, had an injury. Our lawyer sent back a letter to her lawyer explaining that we really didn't have anything to do with the goose. And the goose was not our employee or our agent. Two years later, it evolved to where we were actually served with papers that she was suing us for three quarters of a million dollars. We ended up contacting our insurance company, meeting with them to start to put together a defense. We felt we didn't do anything wrong, that they were wild animals in an open area. We couldn't do anything about them. Our staff was deposed. Uh, they had to take time away from their jobs and their families to go do that. The jury came back and found us not negligent. The way you run your business, you start to second guess how you do business because you're worried about the next lawsuit. And that's not the way to run a company. 